Leonardo da Vinci, a name that has transcended time to become legend, remains an untouchable mystery at the biological level. For centuries, scholars have traced the fingerprints of this genius through his paintings, notebooks, letters, and the myths surrounding his life. Yet, recent work by geneticists and archaeologists has opened up a new frontier of curiosity. Could we identify Leonardo da Vinci's DNA? And if so, could that genetic code help us better understand the foundations of his genius? From his visual acuity, creativity, and memory to aspects of his health that history has left unresolved? To understand why identifying Leonardo's DNA poses such a pivotal challenge, one must first look at the fundamentals of his life story. Leonardo was born in 1452 in the town of Anciano, near Vinci, Tuscany, as the illegitimate son of Ser Piero da Vinci, a Florentine notary, and Caterina, a peasant woman whose family background is nearly impossible to verify. From the age of five, he lived with his father and paternal grandparents in Vinci, maintaining little contact with his mother. His unmarried life and lack of recorded offspring mean that no direct genetic lineage exists through which his DNA could be traced. Leonardo's remains, believed to be buried in the chapel of Saint Florentin in Amboise, France, have undergone significant historical upheavals. So how can one trace the DNA of a man who has been dead for more than 500 years? A man with no direct descendants, uncertain remains, and artifacts highly susceptible to contamination over time. The path chosen by researchers is to work backward from the present into the past, focusing on the male lineage, Y chromosome, as the genetic thread connecting Leonardo to his paternal ancestors. The Y chromosome, present only in males, is a valuable tool in historical genetic research because it is passed almost unchanged from father to son through generations, affected only by small mutations over time. If scientists can identify living male individuals who share the same Y lineage descending from a common da Vinci ancestor, they can move significantly closer to reconstructing a genetic replica of Leonardo's DNA. To prepare for genetic testing, researchers needed an extraordinarily detailed family map to identify individuals who might carry the same Y line as Leonardo. In this pursuit, Alessandro Vizzosi and Agnesi Sabato dedicated over 30 years to examining ancient archives, parish records, property deeds, birth and marriage certificates, and notarial documents from Tuscany, Florence, Milan, and surrounding regions. Their work resulted in a genealogical tree spanning 21 generations from 1331 to the present day, documenting more than 400 individuals throughout history. In their book, Genia da Vinci, Genealogy and Genetics for Leonardo's DNA, Vezzosi and Sabato narrowed the search to around 15 living men who may carry the same Y chromosome lineage as Leonardo's paternal ancestors. A breakthrough came when six of these men agreed to provide DNA samples for testing. The research team analyzed the Y chromosome segments within their samples and found that they shared matching Y sequences. This finding indicates that the da Vinci Y lineage has remained continuous, at least from the 15th generation onward. During their investigation, researchers also identified the da Vinci family tomb at Santa Croce Church in the town of Vinci, Italy, which may contain the remains of Leonardo's paternal ancestors. Excavations from the site have uncovered bone fragments of appropriate historical age, identified as male remains, offering significant potential for ancient DNA analysis. If the Y-DNA extracted from these bones matches the Y-DNA profiles of the modern descendants, it would provide strong genetic evidence linking Leonardo to his ancestral line. An invaluable ancient link in the ongoing effort to reconstruct his biological profile. However, the authors remain cautious. The current findings do not constitute absolute proof. 
there are potential risks of mutations, lineage interruptions, ancient DNA contamination, or overlapping external DNA, all of which could distort conclusions if not rigorously controlled. The Leonardo da Vinci DNA project represents an unprecedented effort to integrate genetics, history, and art in order to decode the biological essence of the Renaissance genius. The analysis results not only enabled the reconstruction of a 3D portrait reflecting his actual appearance, but also revealed extraordinary biological traits directly associated with his cognitive abilities, creativity, and physicality. The genetic profile indicates that Leonardo possessed gene variants associated with exceptional spatial vision, the ability to perceive intricate details often imperceptible to the average person, as well as the capacity for multi-sensory integration and multi-dimensional thinking. This helps explain how he was able to combine color, sound, mathematical structures, and geometry in his art, engineering, and design. Furthermore, his DNA revealed genetic advantages in memory, information processing, and hand-eye coordination, along with ambidexterity and the to write in mirror script, factors that contributed to his exceptional creativity and precision across all fields he engaged in. Variants associated with robust immune function and rapid recovery from illness help explain how Leonardo survived the devastating epidemics that struck Renaissance Italy, even conducting epidemiological studies and medical experiments inaccessible to most contemporaneous researchers. These findings shed light on his predictive insights and investigative approach to infectious diseases, as well as his systematic scientific methods in studying plagues, cholera, and other infections, supported by rare genetic traits that enhanced fine motor control, memory, and pattern recognition. The genetic profile also indicates that Leonardo possessed rare traits associated with delayed brain aging, enabling sustained learning, creativity, and neural adaptability well into his later years. This neural flexibility, combined with a reduced need for sleep, enhanced sleep quality, and signs of increased dopamine activity, allowed him to work continuously while maintaining energy, focus, and long-term motivation on complex projects spanning many years. Analyses of his DNA phenotype further revealed remarkable physical attributes. Above average height, robust skeletal structure, exceptional physical endurance, and superior sensory coordination, along with signs of ocular pigment variation, which may have enhanced depth perception, and the ability to reconstruct three-dimensional space on a flat surface, together forming a comprehensive biological portrait of a multifaceted genius. Beyond reconstructing his appearance and biological traits, this research also provides insights into Leonardo's genius in areas historically concealed by the church. Secret records of consciousness, experiments, temporary resuscitation, and analyses of human loss of consciousness are corroborated through genetic evidence, demonstrating that Leonardo was not only an artist and scientist, but also a pioneer in exploring the relationship between the body, intellect, and the essence of human nature. Despite its great promise, the project faces a multitude of challenges. First, ancient DNA is extremely prone to fragmentation. After centuries of exposure to soil, moisture, microorganisms, and temperature fluctuations, the DNA becomes broken into tiny fragments, making it difficult to reconstruct sufficiently long sequences for full genomic comparison. Second, there is a high risk of DNA contamination from handlers, environmental microorganisms, later restorations, or individuals who have come into contact with the artifacts over time. Without strict clean room protocols and contamination controls, the resulting data could be compromised or misleading. Third, Y chromosome analysis covers only a small fraction of the genome, specifically the genetic material inherited 
through the paternal line. Traits such as creativity, intelligence, and cognitive ability are influenced by genes located on other chromosomes and by complex genetic and environmental interactions. Therefore, DNA evidence alone cannot fully explain Leonardo's genius. Fourth, if the da Vinci male lineage was ever interrupted, for instance, through an unrecorded paternal substitution or non-paternity event, the DNA obtained from modern descendants might not accurately correspond to Leonardo's true genetic line. Finally, extracting DNA from artistic artifacts, such as paint, paper, or manuscripts, must be done without damaging the works themselves. This requires ultra-low input DNA sampling techniques of exceptional precision to ensure the preservation of the original materials. The Leonardo DNA Project, uniting genealogy, archaeology, forensic anthropology, and genetics, stands as one of the most audacious scientific efforts to bring a legend into the realm of empirical study. Significant breakthroughs have already been achieved. The shared Y-DNA profiles among Leonardo's male descendants and the excavation and analysis of family remains. Yet the journey is far from over. If scientists can confirm a Y-DNA match between the ancient bone samples and modern descendants, and subsequently sequence additional genomic regions, provided the samples are of sufficient quality, we may obtain a preliminary biological portrait of Leonardo. This will not solve the entire mystery of his genius, but it will provide a new foundational layer of understanding, one that humanity has never possessed before. In the future, as ancient DNA extraction technologies continue to advance, enabling laboratories to filter out contamination and recover intact cells from minute artifacts such as hair, skin cells, or paper fibers. Comparisons with the verified Y profile could open the door to authenticating Leonardo's works. A single drop of sweat, a strand of hair, or a tiny cell left on a manuscript could one day serve as his genetic signature. More importantly, this project carries a profound message. History, art, and science do not exist in isolation. They can converge and intertwine to tell a more complete story of humanity. As we take each step toward tracing Leonardo's DNA, we are not merely searching for the genetic code of a genius. We are restoring fragments of the biological essence of the man who painted the Mona Lisa sketched the flying machine and studied anatomy with a gaze that saw the world unlike any other.